Hey everyone, it's Festive Friday and I am bringing you to New York City, my favorite city in the wide world, and it's that time of day where I need a little bit of caffeine. So we're gonna get started with three great questions. All right, David, you have a great question here. He says, I have a client with natural level two, African type hair, who wants to be a level five, rich brown, but doesn't want to see red, but still wants it to be warm. She wants that matrix color, that's amazing. So which developer of choice would you use? I'm getting mixed opinions. Okay, so here's the thing. It's good that she wants to see some warmth, so you want to make sure that when you're going three levels of lift, especially on um, dark hair like that, natural level two, you're going to be pulling through the warm stages. What I would do, virgin application, mid lengths and ends, I would go in with a 5A and 30 volume, and then 5A and 20 volume at the new growth. You don't want to do 30 volume at the new growth because that's the heat zone and that's where it's going to get warm and bright and that could go hot. But make sure you have the 30 volume so you can buff it up as light as you need that. Use the A, it'll cancel out that unwanted warmth, but still keep it nice and rich brown. All right, and we have a great question from our Facebook Live that we did on Modern Salon. Michelle asks, do you ever have spotting in the mid lengths and ends or towards the underneath when you're working with the triangular shaped sections? So Michelle, if you remember, we did triangle shaped sections here and here, and we just focused on doing the balayage on the top of the strand until you got to the ends, and then we emulsified it through the mid lengths and ends. My answer to you is no. As long as you're staying on the top and you're really consistent with the fluidity of your brush stroke and keeping the consistency very creamy, it will isolate to the place that you put it. The reason we don't go all the way underneath all the way through that mid lengths and ends is because what's gonna happen? You're gonna have one big chunk of lightness. We wanna see the diffusion of light and dark so that you see beautiful transition of colors going from dark all the way to light and never seeing where that color starts and stops. All right, Jimmy asks here, working behind the chair can be very rewarding, but also physically demanding at times. With full days, busy schedules, and work weeks, what's some tips to really give back to the physical de demands of being a professional behind the chair? Any ideas on how to stay healthy? So, I think, Jimmy, there's a, a bunch of things. I have learned in my career standing behind the chair, you have to take care of yourself. So stretching at the beginning of the day, stretching periodically throughout the day, drinking tons of water. It's no joke when people say eight to 12 bottles of water, make sure you're hydrated throughout the day. Make sure you're stretching in between clients and follow Modern Salon's Healthy Hairdresser. Every single month they come out with different tips and tricks for each and every professional to be healthy behind the chair. Great question. Thanks everyone for all of your great questions. Don't forget to submit anything that's on your mind all week long on any of my social media channels or Modern Salon for a chance to win one of my favorite Matrix products. We'll see you next Friday.